Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Ken, will you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew? It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward, what the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the sage. You hold off for the appeal. He's here. Alright. The prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my blade for a time, but not long. Sean gets back from Mars, we'll see about him. None call me governor, for instance, where I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. Steady, Jim. We're close. Is Don't worry. Is it a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my mistake, but how far is it? We are nearly there. I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, you Spaniards! Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Truly, men of talent and intelligence should be. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So I bother. Virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? 
Stories about you, Prusa. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough gifts. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And so, I can tell you, on the board is more enjoyable than one. I grow tired of this war. We must be close. If I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um... You say you came alone, Horace? Not alone, but certainly without problems. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Huh. Now's the time! No! Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! Kill Kenway for a better cause. You lost your chance, man. I'm going after Prince. Kate, no. Jim, stop! Not this really. time, Kenway! Come on, man! We can work this together! You have your chance! Stay your blade, kid! Wait! Give 
natty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both! Patience, man. You'll have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that!